Oslo Top 10 Must Sees, welcome to my channel. Today, we're virtually touring one of my favorite Scandinavian cities, Oslo, Norway. Oslo beautifully blends rich history with vibrant modern culture. From world-class museums to stunning parks and Viking heritage, Oslo offers something for every traveler. Grab your travel journal, get ready to be inspired, and let's dive right in. Our first stop is the heart of the city, the Royal Palace. This is the official residence of the Norwegian monarch, King Harald V. You can tour the palace in the summer months and get a peek inside. Picture yourself strolling through the elegant rooms, imagining the royal family going about their day. The palace sits atop Karl Johans Gate, Oslo's main drag, and is surrounded by a sprawling park. It's a great place to relax and take in the city's ambience. If you're lucky, you might catch the changing of the guard ceremony a colourful spectacle with marching bands and stoic guards. Be sure to check the schedule because it happens every day at 1.30pm. One of my favourite things to do around here is to wander the palace grounds. It's free to enter and you'll find locals picnicking on the grass, enjoying the sunshine. It's a little slice of serenity in a bustling city. As you leave the palace grounds, take a moment to admire the intricate facade of the building. Don't forget to snap a few photos. This is one for the scrapbook for sure. Enter the wonderfully weird world of Vigiland Sculpture Park, home to over 200 sculptures by Gustav Vigiland. This place celebrates the human form in all its stages of life, from playful children to brooding old men. It's quirky, profound, and a lot of fun to explore. The most famous sculpture here is the monolith, a towering pillar covered with intertwined human figures. It's a powerful piece of art that will stay with you long after you've left the park. Take your time wandering the pathways, discovering hidden nooks and finding your favourite sculptures. I'm particularly fond of the bridge, lined with bronze figures, each expressing a different emotion. The best part? It's completely free to enter. The park is a testament to Oslo's commitment to making art accessible to everyone. Whether you're an art enthusiast or just looking for a unique place to stroll, this park is a must-see. Now, let's step back in time and visit a different side of Oslo's artistic heritage. Looming over the Oslofjord, Akershus Fortress is a medieval castle with a storied past. This fortress has seen sieges, fires, and served as a Renaissance castle and royal residence. Today it offers breathtaking views of the city and the fjord. Bring your camera. This is a prime spot for capturing panoramic shots of Oslo. Wander through the castle grounds, exploring the ramparts, towers, and dungeons. You can almost hear the echoes of history whispering through the stone walls. For a deeper dive into the fortress's past, check out the Norwegian Resistance Museum. It tells the poignant story of Norway's resistance movement during World War II. After soaking up the history, grab a coffee and a pastry at one of the cafes within the fortress walls. Akershus Fortress is a powerful symbol of Oslo's past and a beautiful place to connect with the city's history. Let's turn our attention to a stunning example of modern architecture. Get ready to be wowed by the Oslo Opera House, a masterpiece of modern architecture that rises from the fjord like a giant, shimmering iceberg. Even if you're not an opera buff, this building is a must-see. Its sleek, angular design, clad in white marble and granite, is both striking and inviting. One of the coolest things about the Opera House is that you can walk right up onto its roof. The sloping roof doubles as a public plaza, offering incredible views of the city and the fjord. It's the perfect spot for a photo op or just to sit and soak up the sunshine. If you have time, catch a performance inside. The Oslo Opera House is known for its world-class productions. Even if you don't see a show, peek inside the main auditorium. The interior is just as impressive as the exterior. The Oslo Opera House is a testament to Oslo's commitment to cutting-edge design and making art accessible to everyone. Now, are you ready to journey back in time to the days of Vikings and voyages? Prepare to set sail back in time at the Viking Ship Museum. This museum is home to three incredibly well-preserved Viking ships. Step inside the dimly lit halls and you'll come face to face with the Osberg ship, the Gokstad ship and the Tune ship. 
These vessels, dating back to the 9th century, were used for raiding, warfare, exploration and trade. Imagine the skilled Viking shipbuilders crafting these vessels by hand over a thousand years ago. It's remarkable to think about the craftsmanship and ingenuity that went into building these ships. As you wander through the museum, you'll also see a fascinating collection of Viking artefacts, including sledges, tools, textiles and even a Viking burial chamber. The Viking Ship Museum is a must-see for history buffs and anyone interested in learning more about these legendary seafarers. Our next stop takes us deeper into the world of art, but this time we're delving into the mind of a true Norwegian master. Get ready to dive into the world of Edvard Munch, Norway's most famous artist at the Munch Museum. This museum is home to the largest collection of Munch's works in the world, including his most iconic masterpiece, The Scream. As you wander through the galleries, you'll trace the evolution of Munch's artistic style, from his early impressionistic works to his later, more expressionistic pieces. Munch was a master of capturing raw emotion in his art, and his paintings evoke a range of feelings from anxiety and despair to love and longing. The Scream, with its swirling brushstrokes and haunting figure, is even more powerful in person. Stand before it and let the painting wash over you. It's a truly unforgettable experience. But the Munch Museum is more than just the Scream. Take your time exploring the rest of the collection, discovering hidden gems and gaining a deeper understanding of this complex and influential artist. After your visit, stop by the museum's cafe for a coffee or a light lunch. Next, let's trade the art museum for a different kind of museum experience. For breathtaking views and a taste of Norway's love affair with winter sports, head to the Holman Collins Ski Museum and Tower. Perched high above the city on the Holman Collins Ski Jump, this museum offers panoramic views of Oslo, the fjord and the surrounding forests. On a clear day, you can see for miles. But the Holman Collin experience is about more than just the view. Step inside the museum and you'll embark on a journey through 4,000 years of skiing history. From ancient wooden skis to modern high-tech equipment, you'll see how skiing has evolved over the centuries. Don't miss the chance to ride the ski jump simulator. It's a thrilling experience that will give you a taste of what it's like to be a professional ski jumper. After your museum visit, take a stroll around the Holman Collin area. There are plenty of hiking trails to explore, and in the winter, you can even try your hand at cross-country skiing. Now, let's head back down into the city centre to a place that's buzzing with energy. No trip to Oslo is complete without a stroll down Karl Johans Gate, the city's main thoroughfare. This bustling street is a microcosm of Oslo itself, with something to offer everyone. Start at the Royal Palace and make your way down the street, taking in the sights and sounds of the city. You'll pass by grand theatres, elegant shops, cosy cafes and historic buildings. Stop to admire the street performers, listen to the chatter of locals and tourists alike and soak up the vibrant atmosphere. This is the heart of Oslo and it's a great place to people watch and get a feel for the city's rhythm. If you're looking for souvenirs, you'll find plenty of options along Karl Johans Gate. Pick up a traditional Norwegian sweater, a piece of local art or some delicious Norwegian chocolate. When you need a break from all the walking, duck into one of the many cafes or restaurants that line the street. For our next stop, let's delve into the adventurous spirit of Norway. Get ready to embark on a journey to the ends of the earth at the Fram Museum, dedicated to Norway's proud history of polar exploration. The star of the show here is the Fram, the strongest wooden ship ever built. This incredible vessel carried Norwegian explorers, including Fridtjof Nansen and Roald Amundsen, on their daring expeditions to the Arctic and Antarctic. Step aboard the Fram and imagine yourself braving the icy waters, facing down polar bears and pushing the boundaries of human exploration. You can almost feel the ship creaking beneath your feet and hear the howling wind whipping through the rigging. The museum also tells the fascinating stories of the explorers who risked their lives to chart the unknown. Learn about their challenges, their triumphs and their unwavering determination. Don't miss the chance to experience the museum's polar simulator. 
This immersive exhibit will give you a taste of what it's like to face the extreme cold and harsh conditions of the polar regions. And for our final stop, we're heading out onto the water. No trip to Oslo is complete without experiencing the beauty of the Oslofjord. This picturesque fjord is the heart and soul of the city, and it offers a world of opportunities for relaxation and exploration. Hop on a ferry and take a scenic cruise through the islands that dot the fjord. Breathe in the fresh sea air, admire the colourful wooden houses perched on the rocky shores, and soak up the tranquillity of this natural wonderland. If you're feeling active, rent a kayak or canoe and explore the fjord at your own pace. Paddle along the shoreline, discover hidden coves, and keep an eye out for local wildlife, including seals, seabirds, and even the occasional porpoise. For a truly unforgettable experience, book a sailing trip on a traditional wooden sailboat. Whether you prefer to relax on deck, explore the islands, or get active on the water, the Oslo Fjord is a destination that will stay with you long after you've said Hadet to Oslo. So, there you have it, my top 10 must-see attractions in Oslo, Norway. From the grandeur of the Royal Palace to the tranquility of the Oslofjord, this city offers a treasure trove of unforgettable experiences. I hope this video has inspired you to add Oslo to your travel bucket list. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more travel tips and inspiration. Until next time, happy travels.